Sniff G bitches. Please tell Action. me why. They believe in you. You should put in that stuff you used to say about the Death Star contractors. Get sued by Disney. No way. Now that's what I call acting! <laughs> Take off your pants. Uh, what the hell is this? I added a scene where you get shot. I'm not letting you kill me off in the third act. What if there's a sequel? A sequel? What am I, a hack? Rosario, Jeff in Las Vegas, good to see you again. Good to see you too, how's Vegas? Oh, it's hot as ever, yeah. <laughs> it is hot. We haven't spoken in a long time. It's, it's so been a while. I know, it's so great to see you again. And for Clerks 3, what a great occasion to talk to you, so. Mm-hmm. You know, it's hard to imagine the original Clerks was nearly 30 years ago. Can you recall the first time you saw it, the time and place? Um, no, I don't think, I didn't see it in the theater. Hmm. And there was a VHS of it that I saw, which is just the best. Like I miss VHS. That's the sounds of it. It was really good. Be, be, be kind, rewind. But just like that whole idea, like I love that. I loved that story. I remember um, just as like kids focus on like latchkey kids in the community and where I grew up, you know, this was about like a video store, you know, like it was just clerks behind the desk, you know, and the banter and conversation. My, my uncle worked at a CD place and you know, I just, I just, those, those quiet moments, that's what I remember of my youth. That was summer, you know, and you just spent time in these stores at the bodega and you just spent way too much time hanging yeah. out there and situations, all kinds of drama would happen. You know, my friend worked as a waitress at a diner for years. Like we just, the regular idea, all of that kind of stuff was just so normal. And to see that made big and important in a big film you know, it was just, it was really, really cool. So I, I think I, that's what I just loved about independent film in that moment. And just like the possibilities, if you just got a camera and you got some people who want to support you, you could just make something special. And, um, Oh, I, I'm, yeah. you know, when I gra graduated from high school, I started, I was an entrepreneur. So I started in 1985, I started with one video store. And by 1991, I had five, you know, a teenager had five video stores, but then Blockbuster was coming to town. So I sold mm -hmm. them all and went to film school at UNLV. They offered a four year degree. So so genial. It's so yeah. cool. So when you I know, saw it's Clerks, such a different world. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. So tell me about when Kevin Smith asked you to be in Clerks 3. Do you remember the time and the place and the moment? He texted me out of the blue, finally, that it was happening. We had gotten back together again on Reboot, um, Jay and Sally Bob Reboot. So I was super excited about that. And, you know, just happy he was still alive and still with us and reaching out to him when he'd had his heart attack. So, you know, and he teased us and dangled this movie idea for years. You know, I, I, we finished the first film, you know, the second film, excuse me, um, with my character being pregnant. So I've been like on him for years, like what happens with this character and when are we going back to revisit and not having as much of a gap between the first and, you know, the, the second and the third film as we have between the first and second. But, you know, here we are. And, and I think it's perfect timing with everything he's gone through and just where we're all at um, to tell this story and the way that we told it. It's just, it's really it's it's a uh, it's emotional. It's really yeah. good. Well, his heart attack really changed his outlook on his life and his creative perspective mm -hmm. too. He even incorporated, you know, the storyline in Clerks Three. Um, mm -hmm. But how is his style different from different directors? We know what a crazy guy he is, but as an actress's perspective, and you work with so many directors, can you give us something specific that Kevin Smith does as a director that's just different from anyone else? I don't know. He just feels probably the most relaxed. And I know he's not sleeping and I know he's working around the clock and he's he's juggling lots of hats and, you know, he's editing as he's filming and, you know, he's writing. He's just he's just doing so much stuff. He's acting, he's directing, he's just doing all the stuff, but he makes it seem he's just one of those. He makes it seem super easy. And I you know, there's a familiarity he's got with everyone behind and in front of the camera that just makes it feel fun. Like, I think he's just really He's always been one of those people who I've admired um, that I've worked with over all these years who has not compartmentalized his life. You know, like all of it, his family, his friends, his love of the whole process and filmmaking and geeking out and fandom and his creativity and his genius and his storytelling, like all have blended in with each other over all of these years in a way that I've just always been really impressed by and moved by and you know that's why he can and he can so he can make it such a personal film it's so personal and yet it resonates with all of us because we he's brought us along on the journey this entire time 
and it's so it just it's special it's it's meta in a way that no one else could do <laughs> Um, and it says no one else could ever earn in that same way, but it, 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 it just, it, it's a touchstone. It's, it's part of the culture. It's iconic. It's amazing. It's really, it's really good. I agree. Yeah. And, uh, you know, finally today, they're wrapping me up here. I know you're a big Star Trek fan. You know, I'm a big Star Trek fan too. You know, I want you to know, there it is. Live long and prosper. I'm missing the official Star Trek convention today because I wanted to speak to you. So I hope you understand oh. the sacrifice I made. It's happening at Bally's right now, the official convention. Wow. Yeah, so that's I do Star appreciate Trek. that. That's a big deal. Good on you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, thank <laughs> you so much, Rosario. Let's talk again soon. Thanks so much. Yes, please. Great to see you again. Um,